hello in the last video we created a framework just with a prompt it was based on selenium and java basically it was ui automation framework this time we will create a rest api framework right we thought that we'll include everything in the existing one if you want that you can use this right otherwise we'll create it from the scratch okay if you're not if any of this is not making sense you can go here and uh, start using ai right for your test automation here i have explained in detail right this github copilot series where there are set of uh, videos and it's very simple you just have to install two extension and use the copilot for free right and so if you're coming first time to my channel you can subscribe to this channel and you can also subscribe to the newsletter on this gorkhurana.in uh, which is easy to remember so let's begin so this is a prompt that i have written we'll observe this let me ask this create the framework right because i have already written the prompt and i have given this as a context if you open a file it go as a context over here and then we'll discuss right so uh, let's see what all things have to be done right so the first thing is i created a folder with the name rest assured framework with agentic ai you can name it anything just open it and then i created a file prompt.md right where i have described what my prompt it is right so that i can keep my prompt right so if you see here what i said is create the framework and i have passed this file right so the system knows that what it has to do and other thing to note is that you have to uh, give that this is agent right then only it can do the stuff because there are three modes that we have already covered if you see it has uh, started doing some stuff here right let me go to the prompt back so that we can uh, discuss about the prompt so what i said is that i want a modern scalable uh, framework right which has which should be java 17 as it is a stable version right you can use java 21 as well right which is the latest and having long term support plus i have asked this that i need at least these methods right there could be other methods as well like head and all right we can add options and all of that right for the authentication i said that it should have minimum bearer api token if anything is missing do comment i'll i'm happy to update that prompt library right and then we need because when we receive a very big response you know it's hard to do validation without serialization and deserialization right so whatever json response comes we should be able to convert it into a class so that it is easy to validate whether if something has to be a number it is coming as a number and all right and i have given the liberty that it can use jackson or json so these are the libraries which helps us uh, in this pojo classes right if you are using c sharp it will be poco right plain object c sharp right object right uh, and i have asked that yes i need reporting as well right configuration utilize utilities that we need and test data we have to kept separate right environment we should be able to uh, pass it as a property files right we need ci cd as well so since i mostly use github actions and azure devops i have mentioned these two only but you can mention bitbucket or jenkins whatever you are using it right and we can control via maven profiles and environment tags like which environment you want to run test or maybe sometimes you want to run on a remote uh, platform as well right reporting both options i gave extent report and earlier report right also you can create a similar using playwright api as well right if you are if you are maybe you are using rest sharp as well and some of this prompt like i gave the initial things that in in a rough way right and then i use chat gpt to create this full thing right in a proper way to act as a, a prompt for this right if you see on the right side it is already has created a lot of files right last time it took 40 minutes for the ui automation framework uh, which had a lot of things right this time let's see i'll maybe pause the video to not take 40 minutes of yours right and then we have asked for logging and debugging that we need logs as well because whenever there is a failure it should be easier for me to debug 
right what is the problem and for that even exception handling can help right if it will give me proper error messages i can check it out that why there is some uh, things uh, not working right now the most important is parallel execution which many people miss in the starting like while creating framework mm -hmm. and then it creates problem later on right even added docker file this time right last time i did not added any docker file in our framework but here i said that i want to run this even in the docker file right and the organizing suits is very important that okay which one is smoke which one is regression and which one is critical right we can assign priority all of that stuff right and the most important part is documentation if ai will create all the things right how would i understand probably that uh, what is the project structure where i where is my test where are my test data and all of that right so it will i have asked to a uh, documentation document as well right so these of the things which were like given by uh, chat gpt as a bonus right that we can we should be even integrated with postman and swagger right so this is an awesome thing that if we give and let's see if it is able to uh, do it or not and even uh, we have asked it to create a utility so that uh, maybe sometimes a framework is not working right and then uh, we have to give a lot of log statements and all or maybe print statements right and to understand where the failure is whether if we are running it uh, on our own right at that time it is working fine or not right so we try to run manually as well uh, right so all these things have been added if we see what all things it has done again it has created a very good structure right it has created in the uh, ui framework as well right so three environment it has created dev properties prod properties qa properties right so these are the three environments and it has uh, kept authorization type here bearer then what is the api token uh, username password api key right so these are the credentials right which it has kept in uh, not the exact value but uh, so that we can pick it up right and six uh, can be run in parallel right some sample base url it has taken which i have not given it will try to attempt three times right a time out of 30 seconds have been given right we can reduce and increase this so json is needed a lot so it has created a json path utility right normal json utilities is being created there is a post service user service right all of this is created here and i'll i'll add this on my github repo right so that you can go through the code if it is right or not right so here if you see that various kind of authentication it has taken care it has not added all of them which you see in postman drop down right but whatever i have asked it has asked for it right so the main thing is that get put post right let's try to search if it has added those methods right okay so here is the post request it is trying to execute right so sometimes what will happen is if you see here like after doing a lot of work it will wait right so let me reduce this size a little bit right so i can click keep here so keep what happens is whatever new files it has created here it will add it in your uh, folder right Un until you press keep it is like temporary it can go away so now i'll press continue and let it run right so i'll pause this video now and once it is done i'll show you all of it right like for example it has uh, this extent report manager is there base model post right so all of this will go through it once it has uh, completed it right so let me pause the video for now and let it complete so if you see now it has been completed and i saw it took uh, by 9 6 everything was completed right and so we can say that within 14 15 minutes it has created all of this framework that you see on screen and 10 15 minutes it took me to run it right because it itself uh, fixes some problem that comes right so let's first see that uh, what all things it has created right so it has created this github workflow as i have asked that i want to run this in github right i'll check it out that how whether it is running in github or not but locally it is running fine now so LAO results folder it has created and i can show you that LAO results 
so this LDR report has been created successfully so as you know that we have to give LDR serve command right so if you see here I have gone into this folder and I have given LDR serve command where LDR results folder was available right and it has opened this report for me and if you see that it has detailed logging as well right so which is awesome plus we gave extent report as well right so if you see extent report is even generated with all the details right and we did zero coding in this right but do validate that whether it is right or not right if there are any problems and all in this just uh, uh, you have to do that review yourself because AI can do mistakes uh, right they they also say it so this LDR results folder I gave the LDR sub command right last time we saw in the mistakes of this that uh, in UI automation framework the logs were not generated right but he that is not the case here right I think here why it did not came because there is no failure we have asked to uh, to log the response only in case of failures right and this is the most important right the actual code so here it has created various kind of suits right post smoke test so let's see the test here so it has given a good name description severity also added right sometimes we miss some of these things right but it has very well categorized all of these things right and even logging is added in detail and it has created this services let's go into this function get all post right so it has created a post service where i think all the post requests and methods are there right even a base api client is there where if you see it has taken care of authentication headers right i was looking at it and it has created even uh, uh, what you call uh, right here like if you say if you have multiple query params then you can pass a map right if you have a single one it has just given with query param right and it has uh, like taken care of most of the scenarios that could be possible at places it has done uh, function overloading as well right so here is the actual post call that is going right so some of these things we can change uh, right if we don't want retry handler we can remove all of that right so whatever we have asked for it has added all those options right and here is the configuration manager which is picking up the data like which uh, environment we want to run right we keep that data here under uh, it resources if you see it has created test data as well so that you keep right things at the right place right similarly this is the most important that base test class right where we have uh, configured that uh, what should happen before test and after test right so uh, proper things have been kept at the proper places right not like uh, test data is in your actual test right it is being kept separate right and this is the sample uh, URL it has taken which we can change right this DB and all if it is not needed we can remove all of that right which report we want if we can enable disable simply from here right screenshot anyways is not needed in case of API right so I can set this to be false right we don't need it so yeah retry is there reporting is there extent reporting there is detailed uh, classes and all of that stuff that is done right in case of LR, this is not needed right since i give both the reports and models which is the most important thing right because whenever some response is coming we need to serialize deserialize right so as an example it has taken here right but if you want to add more you can open chat and give stuff right and in between when i was running there was some failure which it has auto fixed right so the only thing which i did not do is run it in docker right so let me try to run it in docker because we asked to uh, create test for docker as well so i have docker desktop installed on my system right so which i have opened if you see there is nothing as of now here right nothing is uh, running as of now I deleted all the existing containers but I have docker installed in my system right so I think most probably it will uh, run the command for that right this docker compose file has most of the things right uh, I have not passed any this API token username password because I don't have uh, those kind of things right 
so let us see that if it is able to run even it in docker because last time we did not use docker right we only ran in our local and also in the pipeline as well also i think i asked for a azure pipeline right if you see that it has created a azure pipeline as well which is a good thing right if i want to run it in azure devops right so all of the best good practices right if you see even if it is it is caching the uh, maven dependencies as well right which can save a lot of your uh, time by not downloading again and again right and you might struggle right like if, if even if you mention one value wrong here if you do code yourself this can take a lot of time right so i think this is pretty good even it is publishing using the html report extension right so that you can see that uh, or download that report right so all the necessary things uh, because so many people code it is using to do all of that right so that's why it's there right and you can remove some part of it right for example you don't maybe you don't need to run in docker uh, let's say in your pipeline right then you can delete all of that stuff so if you see here and if you don't know certain commands you can learn this from the right side right it is building this rest assured framework by giving the docker build command it sees if something is happening in my docker here if it has downloaded anything or created anything so far no uh, that command is running as of now so if you see now that uh, there is a rest assured framework that came here right only 56 seconds ago right now it is running this command to run the test right let's see if it is able to run it in my docker container right so if you see now now we can see a container which is using 0% uh, CPU as of now right if you see again there is an error as soon as an error comes it goes away from here but we have our image here so let's see what is the problem uh, that is it is having the maven compiler is trying to compile for okay I think they are using java 11 in the docker container but I have java 17 in my system so looks like it is trying to fix it So there are some assumptions that it makes right so which causes all this problem right uh, but it's okay because it is able to even fix it right so again it is building so if you see now it has updated uh, that with the java 11 and now it is running right if you see cpu percentage is shown and this is the image uh, that it has created right and containers are running again it went down right so i think yeah because it is completed if you see that there are uh, 17 tests and all of them were successful right so we are able to run that even in uh, docker as well right so i'll upload this uh, prompt in this prompt library for creating this and also we'll share the uh, you can check it on my github link which is at the bottom of this right you can go here and last time i uploaded for the agentic ai for selenium now i'll upload for rest assured like you can use that so this is the last time we created and even the video is present here right so you can follow this and uh, then you can even try this and try to understand the framework and what all maybe some of the good practices you might not know so that video will help you and doing it practically will help you even better right so if you see that it has given all the summary that what it did and also the commands it has given right which we can use for uh, running the test so thank you so much for watching